Imagine that first formation I just had up is what we start out in, and then the very next thing that they see when we throw at them is we come out in this. And this is a, a substitution, okay? We would bring new personnel on the field for this. Again, I don't know if these guys are gonna be an odd or not. I'm just assuming, okay? But they've got some serious, serious problems right there. If we start running buck sweep, we're gonna bump and run that, down block that. We're gonna sift and settle and figure that out, trap it, pull for it. There goes the ball. Now we start running shave back behind it. Okay, that's the kind of stuff I mean. Give them lots and lots of stuff to digest. Since I know it's a young off defensive coordinator that I'm going up against, I think he's 24, um, and he's not called a lot of plays previously, was not a DC last year at his school, was a position coach, I want to make him as uncomfortable early with digesting formations and personnel groups as I possibly can. I don't want to make his job easy. Let him get comfortable and get into the flow. Okay. Slide and Scorpion when they play cover zero, and they will play a great deal of cover zero. They don't trust their run box to stop the run. So they do a lot trying to get extra hats to the party. Uh, Packers X from Brick Over and Spread Camel looks. Camel is where the tight end or the H back is a fullback. Uh, and then we're going to camel the Y to run 11P power to the field and box to the boundary, okay? So that would be a good one probably to draw up to give you a, a little bit more perspective of what I'm talking about. All this really just kind of remains in the world of throw a lot of different personnel groups with these guys. So for instance, this is something that watching film, we really feel like we can do to these guys. I like that set right there because it gives me a great deal of flexibility. Um, if they're a team that wants to play kind of that Oki style, obviously they're going to play all sorts of games about, you know, where they're going to insert people, how they're going to get their hats to the party and all that stuff. So what we'll do is we'll go here, here, we'll on call that, bring our double team down, we'll pull in the A gap, we'll kick out their overhang. And then we'll play all kinds of games over there with them. Okay. And so it's really easy to run power from that set, but it's equally simple to take that fullback and run him back through here, lock the backside of that zone, push everything over, and that would be Fox. Okay. Or our tight end insert. So we'll run power over here and run Fox over here with the same couple RPOs packaged in. The point is, those surface changes, look what I've done. The first three things I've drawn have been five by none with fly motion, but power. Then I've come up and run buck sweep, which is just power one gap wider. And then I've come up and run true power, and they've all come from different surfaces. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do is make it as unpleasant as possible for them to relate to all that. Power and counter read to the sniffer, with closed calls, uh, we have to add a power down tag because they do play some bare front. And then I said use 01, 02, and 03P with fly, Buckeye to run gap, fly to source the defensive backfield. Okay? Well, here's what all that means. Okay, that's a bunch of jibbledy, jibbledy junk until you really know. Uh, let me go through here and add a little something, something to that. Okay, so one of the things we're going to want to do to these guys, okay, so I'm back here under use 01, 02, and 03P. Okay, well, here's what I mean by that. Okay, so if I got in 21P, we all know what that is. We're expecting me to put a quarterback, a fullback, and a tailback. Well, instead, we'll go gun 21, which will move the tailback out, make the quarterback a tailback, and then I can put the fullback 
offset somewhere else. Well, obviously that's going to cause a lot of issues because they're going to have to start to readjust where are they going to put those pieces. And then what we'll do is we'll start throwing curveballs at them. Okay, what I mean by that is we'll go fly, we'll fly a guy through it, just block both surfaces, make them have to be three guys to the flat, and now there's your power play, there's your RPO. So again, we've run the same play four, five, six times in a row, but we've run it with so much different window dressing and surface changes that it gets very, very difficult for the defense to process all that out and handle it all correctly and get themselves into a situation where they can, they can hang and they can understand. So if you're following the bouncing ball in all this, we had the BIG. That's our big picture, basic integrated game plan, what we want to do. Then you've got all these bullet points down here that kind of tell you, here's stuff more specifically that I want to run more of a, a big picture buffet menu. Well, what we've done now, oh, hang on, got a question coming in. Hang on, let me go ahead and answer that. Sorry, hang on. Okay, this is from Coach Misha. On fly, are you faking the jet or letting him clear across? So we snap it, Coach, so that he looks like he's running the, the fly sweep or the jet sweep. So we snap it right before he gets to the quarterback. And then he just accelerates and runs right through the junk, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what we do. Um, and I'll even type it in case you can't hear it. Uh, fake, fly, sweep. So the snap is before, before he gets to QB. All right, hopefully that, hopefully that kind of helps a little bit. All right, I think that answered that. So, all right, so now <clears throat> I'm going to go down. This sheet I think is really cool. And like I said, we never did this before. So everything up there we did last year, okay? And a lot of you have already seen that. This is where we've been putting our time in during the COVID stuff, okay? And some of this has been auto-corrected a couple times, so I may have to bump it for you here. There we go. So now, here's what I really like, and you can see I've got placeholders left open. Um, I've actually taken the offense, and I've split it into six distinct personnel groupings, okay? And, and they start on the top left, and they go vertically down, okay? So you've got um, – you've got uh, – 10P, then you've got 11P, okay, 10P, 11P is in blue, then you get down there into that brick color, because that's what we call our 12P, brick is down there, then you come back up the top right-hand side, you have 13P, 21P, and then you have 22P. If a play is going to go into a gun set, you can see I just put GN. So 22P would be two tight end flank or I back. But if I say gun 22, now we're going to start emptying people out. And so what this does is this allows me to get some really, really specific stuff into my play sheet that I know I can run and I know that now I'll call, okay? So, for instance, uh, let's take number five under 11P, and that's kind of what I want to do is just take a few of these. And you'll say, okay, well, Coach, what good does this do you? Well, here's a simple answer. There's so much offense in the surface and air system. Like, I just hired a new fullback and tight ends coach this year. He's coached football for a long time, great football coach. He came in and starts looking at the offense, and he goes, holy freaking cow. He said, you guys can do everything. You can be two-by-two, three-by-one, tight end, empty, pro, uh, too tight. He said, the system is so flexible, you can essentially do whatever you want. And so by having all that 
stuff in there, I think it's more practical for us to have a list, a go-to list. Now, some of these are fall off a log backwards simple. Okay, for instance, 21P talk. Well, how freaking simple is that? Okay, I mean, it's, it's almost offensively simple. And so I've taken some stuff that's really, really easy to remember, and I put it down there. And the reason why is I want to make sure I run it. Well, 21P toss is referring to this. I'm going to get in the eye. This would be camel left, so it would offset my fullback. And I'm going to run outside zone with everybody, block the overhang, and toss the ball, and get the ball for a whip. That's easy. 21 feet, toss, boom, done. Okay? Not hard, not a lot of moving parts. But I'm afraid that if I don't put that in my 21 P menu, that I won't call it enough. And so I actually insert it right there as number five under 21 P. Okay? Well, let's look at another one. Let's go over to the blue play, the 11 P list. Three by one, Steeler strong, fly weak. Okay? Well, that's a lot of junk. So let's go draw up that play. Three by one strong out of 11P is referring to that right there. Okay? And what I'm basically telling myself is I'm telling myself that I want to run counter read. I'm sorry to offend anybody that likes me to draw the actual numbers up, names, but just in the interest of speed, we're going to throw it up like, like that. Okay, so I'm going to give them some window dressing, which is to fly a guy away because they should chase me. Okay, so just, just window dressing. And then I'm going to run Steelers. Steelers is our counter read. He's going to step and pick. There's a hit and run double team. We're going to make an on call. If we run Steelers and they odd from us, we double and work vertical. We pull and we trap, and it looks like power read cover. But what it actually is, is it's counter read, and we're reading the A-gap linebacker, reading the A-gap linebacker to the play side. So what happens is this. If this guy scrapes over the top, the quarterback runs the ball. If this guy fires in the A-gap, we hand it off because we're trapping the, the overhang. If he runs out, we trap him. We insert under him. If he wrong arms it, we spill it and we run outside zone. Well, that to me is a, is a unique and fun and kind of cool little wrinkle, okay? And it's something new and different that we can kind of use to give ourselves a little bit different angle. But again, what I'm afraid of is if I don't put it on that sheet – I'm afraid it won't get done, okay? Some of these uh, get really wordy. Some of these get really uh, laborious. So let's do brick over strong Q Chiefs. That's right down here. Number two under 12 feet, brick over spread, excuse me, over spread Q Chiefs, okay? Well, let's go draw that up, okay? And again, you might say, well, coach, shit, just memorize these. Well, I'm getting old. And there's so many different little wrinkles that I'm sitting there on film. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually watching the film and I'm writing up the things.